guys, how are you doing? I'm just going to put the light on. My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash the like button. Please do subscribe. Um, I've, I've been at home most of the day. I took Max out for a walk this morning. There was no trouble at all. I was able to walk Max right the way around the Rochester Riverside field. No problems at all. Nothing. It was a lovely walk. Max enjoyed himself and I was extremely happy. No problems. Right? That's how I like it. Totally different this afternoon now for some reason. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 3 p.m. So guys, I listened to a three hour podcast where Tommy Robinson, Tommy Robinson was being interviewed by Liam. A, a guy called Liam. So I listened to a three hour podcast about Tommy Robinson. I talked, I walked Max around the field and this podcast came up on my phone about Tommy Robinson. So I listened to it on my mobile first of all and then I transferred it over to the Alexa and I listen, I, I, I put it on for three hours. I didn't speak a word. I was actually doing some washing. I was doing a load of washing up because when you get depressed and miserable and fed up and you don't have a change of scenery and you keep seeing the same old people mm -hmm. doing the same old things, you know, it gets you down. So the washing up was piling up, right? So I thought, bank holiday Monday, it's wet and dreary outside, let's get all that washing up done. About 50 items of washing up, loads of it. Because when people bully and you get fed up, you know, fed up, fed up of it. And I'd let the washing up pile up, so I did a load of washing up, right? It's been nice today, it's been quiet. He's been out upstairs all three days and there's been no noisy kids running across my bloody ceiling and making my life a misery. So I've been enjoying the wet bank holiday weekend at home where I can actually, I've actually had a quiet morning and afternoon. But obviously the guy's due back this evening, isn't he? So the neighbour upstairs is due back this evening and we get trouble from teenagers. Teenagers. Why are teenagers winding me up? And who follows me about in the pouring bloody rain? It was raining when I went out. It was like really heavy. So I listened to this three hour podcast while I was doing my housework and then we went on to something else. We went on to child trafficking and sex traffickers, you know, guys uh, that um, groom young girls and some of them go missing and are sex trafficked. Because in a, in a way, I think that's what was done to me when I was 16 years old. So I was listening to... Nobody else should be listening in to my flat, should they? I can't hear other people's radio stations. I can't hear what music I was, uh, that they're listening to. Again, this happened in Gloucestershire in the safe housing accommodation in the women's refuge I was put in. They were listening to every song that I was listening to because I would play a say, say we'll give you an example. Say that I was listening to Madonna in my flat, right? Crazy for you, Like a Virgin and the old 80s songs. 
I would walk into HMV because I always love music, I always have. And Crazy For You would be playing exactly the same song that I'd been listening to before I left my flat. You could say it's a coincidence, but when it keeps happening every single day, then it can't be a coincidence, can it? It can't be. It can't be a coincidence. No way can it be a co coincidence. So, I was listening to Tommy Robinson talking about a lot of things for three hours. I was listening to a, a video on YouTube about sex trafficking of women and children. And that's it. I, I hadn't spoken. I hadn't done a video for hours. I was getting on with my life. There's other things than YouTube. I was cleaning up, I was washing up, <laughs> I was getting on with what I wanted to do. So when it got towards quarter to two, I thought maybe I'd take Max out early for a walk. Then I looked out the window and I saw it was tipping down with rain. And I wasn't going to go out this afternoon. I wasn't going to go out this afternoon. Then I thought, bugger it. I will go out when it dies down a bit. So I looked out the window and it died down a bit. It was still raining. And I put the, my coat on. And it is a unique coat. People have got navy blue coats. They've got black puffer coats. But this has got a distinctive design down the front. So it's hard to copy. So I put my coat on, I had a bag of rubbish and I took Max down the stairs and I put my rubbish in the bin and I put my uh, hood over my head because it was raining and I went towards the field. I went towards it and I thought there's no way that I'm going to walk on that field with the rain coming down that way. Teenagers by the co-op started giggling. I could hear them. And this poor lady, she looked like the post lady actually. She looked like the post lady in a cap with uh, curly short brown hair. Was jogging in this really, really thick rain. She had a t-shirt and shorts on. And she was jogging in the rain and she started jogging around the field. So I had these kids laughing. They weren't laughing at me specifically. They were just laughing. And I walked past it and I walked up the path. And these two hooded lads came out of nowhere. Young lads with hoods over their heads. And, and some people do intimidate, they intimidate. If they're doing something wrong uh, and you're in the way or they don't want you to come out because they're doing something, they intimidate you to go back home or, or just, it's just intimidation really, isn't it? So this one lad pops out with, with, a, with a hooded coat on and he comes towards me and I don't do anything. He looks at me and I don't do anything. So I walk around where the playground area is. They normally smoke weed. Inside the, where the slide is, there's a, like a little hidey hole. And it was really pouring down with rain. And there was a, a, a girl, a young teenage girl, sat in there with a boy, a young lad. And she had her phone. And then this other lad with a hood over his head started running about and he came past me as I was walking down the path and I just walked down the path quite normally I didn't get crossed it was too wet it was too wet to take videos it was absolutely pouring 
pouring down with rain and you've got these teenagers hiding underneath a children's slide, the kiddies slide. Like I said, they normally smoke weed in there. But I've been listening to Tommy Robinson going on how the police don't do anything to help him, how his family has been attacked as well. The police don't help him. I mean, he's always getting arrested, isn't he? And how he's a target. But these are teenagers. These are teenagers following me about and trying to frighten me. And I, I haven't got a... I don't know why. I don't know who they are. So I, I, they kept they, the, the worry is like they're going to surround you, you know, five or six of them or maybe more. That's the worry, isn't it? That's the worry. I mean, it's all right, one or two, but when there's more than that, I don't like walking around there anymore. So that's why I go straight onto the field because there's adult dog walkers. I didn't want to walk that way, but it was pouring down with rain. So I came home and there was three or four young lads. They went across the road. They went round the back of the flats. And I, I went near the DPD driver there was a DPD driver and I went near him. When you think you're going to be attacked, attack, I'm not, not saying I was going to be attacked, but when you feel intimidated or when you feel there's someone there that, um, you know, might be up to something they shouldn't be and you feel a bit afraid, Make sure you go and stand where somebody else is. Make sure you go and stand near somebody's front door. If it's dark, stand near a light. And because teenagers can be harmful, especially in groups. That Charlie, the ch that Charlie, sorry, that's my neighbour's dog. That Charlie that came up to me on the field has got a lot of friends and a lot of his, his people he speaks to is young young men and women he speaks to them a lot so i'm being followed about and people are trying to intimidate me and i'm i you know i have my phone on me max was with me i'm not the only one that uses social media and has a, a load of teenagers, they've got nothing else to do than smoke weed and, and play about with their phones. That's the age we live in, I'm afraid. When I was a kid, you played board games, you might, your parents watched what you was doing, but it's not like that now. So I've come in to my also a couple walked past me and he was wearing a skull on his coat a skull a white skull and when my dad used to do what he was doing to me i remember going into the red sun chinese restaurant the red sun chinese restaurant in chatham it's just off victoria road and um they used to walk in there with skulls on their t-shirts. And I, no word of a lie, when I went back home, I used to have nightmares. Nightmares. They'd walk in there with massive skulls on their coats and their t-shirts. What these people are doing is reminding me of what, where my dad took me and what he did to me. If that's what they want to do, that's, that's, that's their prerogative. But I've been indoors all day. I've been indoors most of the day. Went out this morning to take Max out. I've taken him out this afternoon. 
and uh, he's not been in upstairs right also I tend to get wound up before he comes in because I, I and you know I let sleeping dogs lie I, I don't fight fire with fire I believe in karma karma and, and I have suffered for three three over three years being punished in this flat for something I haven't done I haven't done anything so it's wet yeah been out in the rain I don't know what goes on when I'm up my mum I don't know if someone comes in here and messes about with my pets I don't know I'm not in here am I Apart from installing security cameras outside the front door, I don't really don't know what to do. You know, a camera that clocks everybody's picture that comes near my front door. You could get them off tame you. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the rest of my day, right? You know, I, I'm a mother, I've brought up children, I know what teenagers are like and I know that teenagers can be very aggressive and very violent. I know that from experience. especially when they've taken drugs. See you later.